Hi everyone. So when I finish designing my flyers and I want to post it, I want to do it as a video. The idea is that people don't like uh, when it's JPEG. They don't like uh, going to look at it or even like it. Okay, but if it's a video or you do it as a reel, you see that a lot of views will be on it. You will see a lot of people going to look at it. Okay, so that is the idea. So I will normally will finish designing and then use it as a video okay now how do i do this i normally will do my design in photoshop and then import it into canva now for the same thing you can do it using premiere pro but premiere pro is a lot of work okay so i want to use canva to be able to do it so for example if you look at a video like this look at this and then you look at something like this so see how it comes in okay so I like to do my videos to look nice like that. Now churches who also have big screen and they want to do announcement, you can just design your flyer in Photoshop, import it into Canva, and then you animate it. Now Canva is paid software, but I think there is a free version, okay? Or if you want, you can let the church pay for it. I think it's $9 a month, then you can use it. This will help you to be able to animate your flyers, okay? So let's get to it quickly, thank you. So for example, if you see this video, this is a squeeze back, you can see how I have done it. So I did this in Photoshop and import it into Canva. Let's look at this, let's play this and see. This is so nice, okay? So people will tend to look at this more than just putting a picture there. Uh, I think we've, we've seen this already. Then let's look at this, let me play this. So look at this, okay. So I'm going to, then this one, we have look at this one. So I'm going to import this. So let me show you how I do it. So I do my design in Photoshop, this is Photoshop. Now one thing is that you have to convert the font in Photoshop because when you import it, Canva doesn't have all the font. <laughs> so you may have an issue. So you have to convert it. You right click on the text, you rasterize it, or you convert to smart object. Okay, so this is convert to smart object. So I will do it for almost all the elements here because sometimes if you don't do it for all the elements, some of them will not come. When you finish, you save the file and then you just drop it over here. You drag and drop, and it will be here. Then you double click to open it. So, yeah, so I have it this way. Now I will pick each element to animate. So I'll pick the, the apostle first, select animate, and then I have how he comes in. So you can have how he uh, entered and then exit. So we have both, you can do both. Okay, so this is how he, he will enter. And then this, let me see how he will, okay. So I pick the logo. Okay, so I want it to pop. That is the conference. The name. Okay. Now when it comes to the speakers, you know, we have three layers here. We have the name, the rectangle, and then the picture. So I am using shift to select all this. Okay, to do this. So I'm selecting. Select the rectangle. So you press shift on the keyboard. Then you animate. Then I'll select Philip. And then I'll animate. I'll select this. So I'm selecting three of these. And then I'll animate. So look at how this looks like. Then I'll go in for the team. So you can choose any that you want now this ad, uh, add motion effect will apply to everything okay so let's just concentrate on so see how it takes time for the winning souls to come in okay so you can select just play with any of them look at how it's zooming in then i will select this rectangle so let me select the white one first because sometimes it's difficult then select this select this and then select the other rectangle so this is how it comes in then the name okay so 
uh, I'm using this for the pasta. So you can do it, you can have this effect as they are coming in, this effect are applied. Look at how the picture, this picture has, you see the effect. So you can apply this to it. Okay. Now you can see that it's just five seconds. So if I want more time, I'll go to duration and then increase it. So see, so it's now 13.5 seconds. So when I play this, look at how nice it is. <laughs> look at this effect. <laughs> I, I didn't know this this effect is going to come by. It looks it looks nice though, but we can take it out. That's the the last one we use. But this this is how you do it, and this is what I've been doing for all my flyers. Okay, so if you have your announcement and you want to uh, show your announcement with the flyer, it's to be nice to do this on your screen, and then people will love it. Okay, now if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be bringing you more videos on how you can run your church media. Thank you.